and now we're going to take a tour of the camera. First off, here is where the batteries go. You have two batteries in the camera kit, a small battery and a large battery. They fit into here. The prongs go down to where they meet up there. To take the battery out, you will press a little button there, and that will release the battery from being locked into position. Down here, under this hidden plate, there is component out and uh, analog video out to where you can also do files transfer from here. Over here we have the SD card slot. The SD card just slides in uh, until it catches and then when you wish to take it out just press it again and it will pop out at that point. Here is the headphone connector. This is where you put your headphones uh, to listen to the audio as it's being recorded. Now I'm going to move this, if I can turn the pan lock off, and turn it so you can see the on off button. Press it up, press it down, and then also the record button is the large red button. When you press it, it will start recording, and when you press it again, it will stop. Now, hidden up here is the audio jack for where your microphones will be coming in if you're using an external microphone. And the external mics can be placed in either of these two shoe Seven, uh, locations six, up here. Five. Here we have the lens cap, which needs to be removed before we can take uh, any pictures. There is a button for taking pictures. You can take a picture in a still mode for the camera, or you can take pictures while recording. Also, this is your, one of your zoom buttons that you can use. It is also used for the volume control of the uh, headphones in playback. Now here we have a variety of buttons. We have a slider switch here which has three positions. We have video, still picture, and playback. So the little icon at the top is a video camera, the one in the middle is a still camera, and the one at the bottom is a stylized TV. So depending upon what you want to be doing at the time, you will move that slider into place. Over here you have three different controls that will allow, uh, you have another slider switch that has three positions. You have the IA mode, the manual mode, and then you have a focus mode. The IA mode is the intelligent uh, mode where it will handle most of your white balance and your shutter speed and iris corrections. You have the manual mode where you will have full control or as much control as you can have with this particular camera. And then finally you have a focus mode which will allow the camera to, when you're in IA mode, allow it to automatically focus or give you a better focus. Finally there is a menu button here that will allow you to get into the menu when you're starting to use the menu system within the camera. You have a button to turn the LCD light on or off. Here is a standard navigation button for accessing internal camera menus and options when viewing through either the LCD or through the viewfinder. We have our LCD. Have your LCD panel. This is a touch screen panel which allows you to select various menus for setting the camera up for whatever operation you have. Once the LCD is operational you can no longer use the uh, eyepiece to actually see what's going on in the camera. If you wish to use the eyepiece you can close the LCD and once again the eyepiece will be operational and you'll be able to uh, shoot your picture through there. You'll also be able to see all the menu items that are there also.